do not vary greatly in their abilities. They vary in their desires to reach their potential. So, hello everyone, this is Shivani, your science teacher, here to tell you about the topic Human Digestive System. Class, class you can see the value of information share the Natatio. Key now, sharpen up is online and you all can attend the classes free of cost. So, for that, you just need to call on this number. You can see this number? Yes. You can contact this number and contact this number and contact this number and contact this number and you will send the information on the same day. If you join your classes and it can be that you have one of the children who are thinking about 100 times that I will ask so many children how many questions I will ask or will. So don't you worry, you have a chat option in the classes which you have to ask me about the same question which you have not asked or you have to ask me about the same question so you can ask that question in the chat and at that time I will answer that question. Don't you worry, we all are with you. Human Digestive System आप सब लोग डेली लाइफ में फूड कंज्यूम करते हैं और आपको पता है फर्स्ट फूड कंज्यूम करने से पहले कहा जाएगा माउथ में सो द माउथ इज जनरली नोन एज बकल कैविटी और ओरल कैविटी जैसे ही माउथ में फर्स्ट फूड एंटर करता है उसके बाद वो ईसोपेगिस में जाता है ईसोपेगिस इज अ लॉन्ग ट्यूबलाइट स्ट्रक्चर ईसोपेगिस एक लॉन्ग ट्यूबलाइट स्ट्रक्चर होता है जो हेल्प करता है फूड को मूवमेंट में और स्टमक तक पहुंचने में स्टमक इज अ जी शेप्ड ऑर्गन स्टमक क्या होता है जी शेप्ड ऑर्गन होता है जनरली जो स्टोर करता है फूड टेम्पररली क्योंकि बाद में जब जैसे ही फूड स्टमक से बाहर आएगा और इसके बाद जाएगा स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन इज द प्लेस वेयर द फूड इज डाइजेस्टेड बाय द वेरियस डाइजेस्टिव जूसेस इसके बाद ये लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन आता है लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन में आने के बाद रेक्टम एंड देन एंड एंड एक्सक्रीट आउट थ्रू दी एंड सो इसको आप थोड़ा सा और डिस्क्राइब करते हैं Let's come first to the buccal cavity. Buccal cavity को समझने के लिए I think we should go for pen and paper description. Shall we come? Come. Buccal cavity or oral cavity. The buccal cavity contains teeth, tongue and salivary glands. Let us study in detail about each of them. Teeth. The food taken into the mouth is broken down into smaller pieces with the help of teeth. The process of breaking down food into smaller pieces by the teeth is called mastication. There are four different types of teeth in the mouth. They are incisors, canines, premolars and molars. Incisors. The four front flat teeth in each jaw are called incisors. And they are also known as biting teeth. Incisors teeth are also known as biting teeth. Canines. The two sharp pointed teeth in each jaw. That lie in on either sides of the incisors are called canines. They are also called tearing teeth. They are also called tearing teeth. Now let's discuss about the premolars. Four teeth on either side in each jaw that help them to chew and grind food are called premolars. They are known as grinding teeth. Now let's discuss about molars. Six large broad back teeth. Six large broad back teeth on either side of the premolars in each jaw that helps to chew and grind food are called molars are called molars now let's discuss about the type of teeth there are temporary teeth and permanent set of teeth there are 32 permanent teeth in the mouth with the different shapes and functions in young people there are 8 molar teeth in the mouth cavity the other four molar develop at the age of 18 or later are called as wisdom teeth. Humans has two sets of teeth in their lifetime. The first set of the teeth is temporary or milk teeth that are 20 in numbers. Around the age of 6, milk teeth start falling and get replaced by permanent teeth. Bacteria are present in our mouth. If we do not clean our teeth properly, 
Bacteria start action in the food and produced on acid. This acid damages the teeth and results in cavity. Such damage to teeth is called tooth decay. Bacteria grow faster on sweet and sugary products. Sometimes bacteria, food particles and saliva form a thick layer of the surface on the teeth which is known as plug. Tongue The tongue is a fleshy muscular organ attached at the back to the floor of the buccal cavity. It is free at the front and can be moved in all directions. The tongue performs following functions. It helps in mixing saliva with the food. It helps in pushing and swallowing the food into the food pipe and it helps in getting the different taste of food. It has several taste buds that can be distinguished four types of taste in food. Salty, sour, bitter and sweet. Again, salty, sour, bitter and sweet. It enables us to speak. Now let's talk about salivary glands. The salivary glands produce saliva. Saliva contains an enzyme called amylase that breaks down the starch present in the food into sugar. Saliva also makes the food wet and slimy so that it can be easily swallowed. Hope you have descriptive part of salivary glands, right? Now let's move to the esophagus. Just as I have told you, esophagus is a long tube-like structure. जो खाने को हेल्प करता है स्टमक तक पहुंचने के लिए जनरली इसमें वेगेस पेरिस्टाल्सिस मूवमेंट शो करता है व्हिच मूवमेंट पेरिस्टाल्सिस मूवमेंट पेरिस्टाल्सिस इज अ रिलैक्सेशन एंड द कंट्रैक्शन ऑफ मसल्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द फूड शेप एंड साइज जैसे ही फूड का शेप अकॉर्डिंगली जितना बड़ा और ज्यादा होता है उसके अकॉर्डिंग मसल्स रिलैक्स एंड कंट्रैक्ट करके फूड को स्टमक तक पहुंचा देती है स्टमक डाइजेस्टिव एंजाइम सीक्रेट करता है दैट इज एचसीएल एचसीएल एक एसिडिक एंजाइम होता है जो हेल्प करता है बैक्टीरिया को किल करने के लिए व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट इनसाइड द स्टमक एंड हियर इज अ इनर लाइनिंग व्हिच इज नोन एज म्यूकस म्यूकस स्टमक को हेल्प करती है उस एंजाइम और बैक्टीरिया के एक्शन से नाउ व्हेन द फूड इज टेंपरेरीली स्टोर्ड इन द स्टमक इट मूव्स टू द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन Here, in the small intestine, the largest gland of the body, which is known as the liver, secret bile juice, and here the pancreas secretes pancreatic juice and send it to the small intestine. Small intestine is a place where the digestion process occurs. Now, what is digestion? Digestion is a process in which complex or insoluble substances is converting into the simple and soluble substances. In this small intestine, we have finger-like projections that are known as villi. विला हेल्प करता है एब्जॉर्प्शन ऑफ फूड में एंड न्यूट्रिएंट्स जो कि वो डिफरेंट बॉडी पार्ट्स तक प्रोवाइड किया जाता है एंड दैट इज नोन एज एसिमिलेशन एसिमिलेशन के बाद खाना लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन में आता है लाइक द बेस मटेरियल बट उसमें भी कुछ न्यूट्रिएंट्स रह जाते हैं दैट इज रीअब्सॉर्ब बाय द लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन एंड द वाटर इज एब्सॉर्ब्ड बाय द लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन हेयर नाउ आफ्टर द रीअब्सॉर्प्शन ऑफ द न्यूट्रिएंट्स एंड द वाटर द फूड कम्स और द बेस Generally, the waste materials comes to the rectum and then expand through the anus. Now, the digestion process over. Hope you have enjoyed the video and learned something from that. But don't forget to like, share, or subscribe our channel. So till then, wait for the next video and stay happy, stay safe. Bye bye, everyone.